Hi beauties, it's Mika. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, another review for you guys. A spin the dough or heck no. And it is on the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I picked this up from Sephora um, about a week ago. 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 I picked this up from Sephora about a week ago and I have been wearing it religiously for you guys every single day so that I can come on here and let you know what I think about it if you need to run out and get it or if you should just ditch it. So if you would like to see my thoughts and also see a demo of the new NARS um, weightless foundation then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so as I said, this is the new NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. It claims to be weightless, 16-hour um, wear, and oil-free. It claims that it is ideal for all skin types. It blends effortlessly into the skin, providing a beautiful, luminous, all-day lasting finish. It comes in the, the typical standard NARS um, box. I got the shade New Guinea, and here is the packaging. Very sleek, high-end looking. This nice frosted glass bottle with NARS etched in the front, and it has a lid, and then it also comes with a pump it claims that you can do your whole entire face with one pump um, in my opinion one pump doesn't cut it I use one pump for each side but I think the packaging is beautiful and I think that the product inside is beautiful as well you guys so I have this on my face today I have been wearing it for a total of eight hours and let me tell you I love it and I got so many compliments the last three days that I've worn this at work oh my goodness I do work 12 hour shifts so this claims it's supposed to last 16 hours so I thought it'd be the perfect time to give this a try the first day I wore it with my benefit perfection primer underneath it lasted me only about eight hours and then I had to go in the bathroom and kind of just blocked because I was getting a little too luminous on my forehead area um, so then the next day I wore it with my Smashbox pour refining I'm not sure the name that primer and it again did the whole about eight hours um, the day after that, I wore it with the Hourglass um, Mineral Veil Primer, and boom, that is my combination. I am wearing that primer again on my face today. It is absolutely weightless, just like it claims. I can't even feel it on my skin. It's as if I'm not wearing any foundation at all. It is medium to full coverage. Um, it covered up all of my dark, um, my hyperpigmentation, my acne scars. I think it looks pretty darn good. Um, NARS foundations typically tend to be in the 40-ish dollar range. I don't 100% remember how much I paid for this. I will leave it an annotation for you guys, but I am loving this. I am oily to combination skin. Um, I do. I am dry in my chin area. It didn't adhere to my dry patches whatsoever. And then when you pair it with the right primer you don't have that overly luminous look I like luminous but I don't like greasy I am in love with this I feel like after wearing it every day for a week I've kind of got a good grasp on the foundation what works what doesn't and I think it's absolutely beautiful like it has replaced all the other foundations in my foundation collection she has moved to number one and is going to stay there um, it does so I will do a demo of how I applied it make sure you guys it's very 
very liquidy so make sure you shake it very well before you put out your pump but again two pumps worked for me my entire face medium to full coverage it keeps me luminous without looking greasy for all you oily ladies out there I am an oil slick on my t-zone and it worked beautifully for me it's very light I think the color match was perfect for match and I'm just loving it so I would tell you guys absolutely spin the dough on this foundation it has beat out all my other foundations I know this is going to be in my February favorites I have just been loving it I used a flat top um, brush to apply this I think it applied beautifully um, it blended very easily into the skin I also tried it with the beauty blender I think because it is um, kind of liquidy very thin that the beauty blender kind of absorbed most of the product so I pumped it on my hand and then dipped my brush into it and stippled it all over my face and then buffed it into my skin and that just worked perfectly for me so I'm sorry if this seemed kind of all over the place I'm just so excited about this stuff it is amazing I love it and I absolutely recommend it all skin types I think it'll work for you guys I just I love her so yeah, you guys, that is it for this episode of Spin the Dough or Heck No. Um, I hope you found this helpful and enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe before you go so that you know when I upload videos and that you can be a part of my family. And follow me on my social media because I am very active with you guys there. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I like try to grab my hand and I look and like he does this like so gross and like I was like ew and my friend like pulled my hand and took me to the restroom and then